Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this AMP connector and I've looked at this part and one thing you should know is this part is symmetrical meaning the distance from the middle to the end is the same as the distance from this middle to this end so there are two ways you can that I would probably try to model this you could either break each piece down into individual parts and model it or you could make half of it and revolve it but we're going to do the first one. We're just going to break each feature down individually and add everything else to it. So click on new part. Okay. And on the front, on the front plane. And you will click sketch. And I'm just going to, because this is symmetrical, so I'm just going to click on this drop down. And I'm going to draw the midpoint line. So something like this. It doesn't matter where your midpoint line is. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna make sure this line and that origin point is vertical to each other. And the reason why I'm modeling it this way is because if you look at this picture, you can see that the origin point is right at the bottom over there. So I just kind of want to do the same thing. Um, so make sure your origin point is uh, this point is vertical to the ori ori to your origin point. Then we're just going to add a dimension real quick and we are trying to make this shape the dimension is 0.5 so this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 so good we have that so all we need to do is just draw the other shapes so we want to draw something like this uh, just kind of draw like an upside down T good so we want to add the dimension to the side is 0.1 on this this then is 0.1 and the distance from the bottom up is 0.2 so from here to here is 0.2 and one thing we can do is draw a line over here just draw a line somewhere over here click this point and click this point and you can make the point and the line and you can set it at the mid plane so that way these two lines are always the, the length is the same they always equal to each other or you can make this line a construction line uh, make it a construction line and you can select this line the construction line and this line and now let me do that again the line not the point the set the construction line and the third line and you can make them symmetrical it's still gonna be give you the same thing so we have that and we know the distance is 0.32 so we're gonna add that over here 0.32 and and good so we have pretty much everything so the next thing we need to do is the dimension is over here is 0 0.02 from the bottom from the origin point so from here and I'm just gonna zoom in to my origin point I mean this line to the origin point is um, 0 0.02 so the only thing that is left is this line and we just want to click this point and that point and make both lines horizontal so our sketch is fully defined so what we are going to do is feature extrude and I'm just going to extrude it back um, and it's going to be this dimension 0 0.25 0.25 and click OK good so we have this bottom piece done so the next thing we want to draw is this um, three piece and I'm just going to go to this picture if you look at it this three piece they are pretty much all the same with the exception of this so we're gonna make this not the three piece the four piece we're just gonna make that first so we are going to make sure you know where your front plane is so if I go normal to my front plane I'm just gonna go normal to my front plane uh, make sure normal to or you can show this sketch so my front plane is over here and I'm just going to click on the right plane so you want to draw your new sketch on the right plane and I'm just going to go normal to so what all you want to do is draw this shape the shape um, of this and it gives you that 
over here is telling you there's a bunch of information in there so just draw something like this um, a line coming down coming up and at an angle over here and there are two ways you can do it you can and it's telling you the chamfer is 0 0.02 0 0.02 so meaning from here to here is 0 0.02 and from here to here is 0 0.02 and it also gives you that it's 0 0.27 from the front so let's just add that one as a reference dimension 0 0.27 that's right and it is also telling you that the distance from the top to the bottom is 0.22 let's just make sure the distance from here to here is 0.22 so good we have this feature so all I'm just gonna do now is close that sketch so you can click this line convert entity or you can just draw another line to this point and to this point and once you close it our sketch is fully closed then you want to go to feature extrude the, the reason why I'm doing I'm gonna show you this way is normally you can make this feature over here and use your array pattern to make it four times but because the dimension is coming from the middle and that's why I'm making it this way so the dimension is coming from the middle and from the middle to this two piece is 0 0.08 so what you're gonna do is you're going to offset this in one direction you want to offset the offset it 0 0.04 which is half of that 0 0.08 0 0.04 and once you do that then the dimension for this piece is 0 0.025 which is right here so 0 0.025 so that's your first piece and click OK so we have that first piece in I really don't need this anymore so I can this sketch so I can hide it so for your second piece all you need to do is show this sketch so I'm just going to show this sketch and I'm just going to feature extrude this sketch again and again I'm going to offset and this time you want to offset it from the middle which is the first half of it is 0 0.04 plus plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.04 so which gives me 0 0.08 plus 0 0.025 so that's how far you want to offset it and the distance the extrude is going to be 0 0.025 which is this piece over here and click OK so just to make sure that is right so if I measure this two piece so if I go to evaluate tab measure um, this face to this face you can see it's 0 0.04 so that's exactly what you want so once you have this I can hide this sketch now I don't need it and all I have to do is just mirror that over and um, just go to your feature um, mirror you want to mirror it about the right plane about the right plane and the features you want to mirror is extrude bus 2 and 3 and click OK good so we have that feature now which is this piece good so the next thing we need to do is click on this face and we need to make this little piece over here click on this face which is any face of your you can click on this face is the same thing so click on this face and sketch um, normal 2 and we want to um, just draw a sketch like this something coming down to right here and up and I am going to show this sketch for now and if you look at it the dimension is 0 0.06 from this point to this point is 0 0.06 and this point this point one three I'm thinking and you might want to check with your professor to make sure but I'm thinking is 0.13 to this point before you add the fillet so that's how I made it and the distance from the this line to this front is 0.35 so once we have that feature everything is fully defined 
you can go to your feature extrude and you want to extrude it in this opposite direction and it's going to be 0 0.025 because um, if you look it is the same as this one and it's the same as that one so 0 .0, 0 0.025 and click OK and what we are going to do now is the fillet is 0 0.05 so um, I think it's 0 0.05 so fillet um, 0 0.05 we're just gonna add the fillet over there 0 0.05 click OK I guess I can hide this sketch I can right click on it and click this hide but this high ball button to hide it or you can hide it over here and the next thing I'm just going to do is mirror again so mirror about the right plane this part is pretty small that's why I can I can rescale the plane on um, right plane and um, the features I want to mirror is this extrude bus and the fillet and click OK and we have that feature and um, so you see in this case where my plane is big because this part is too small compared to this plane I can right click on this plane and click auto resize and it resize the plane to the size of the thing and you can do the same thing for all your planes and right click on them and auto resize and it resize them to the size of your part so good so we have that part done and we just need to do one more thing and we almost done. so the, the next thing we need to do is just cut the piece in it so cut this little piece in it but on the on the drawing there are some information that is missing but looking at the hidden line we can see that this cut kind of goes with the hidden line so which means this cut is in this gap this gap that's where those cuts are in so that's exactly how we're going to make it and just please verify with your professor if that's right but I'm pretty I'm 100 percent sure it's pretty is right because if you look the the cut pretty much goes with the hidden line over here um, so what you want to do is just draw again a uh, midpoint line or something like this over here and I just make this point and the origin point horizontal vertical to each other I uh, bring this down and I'm just going to draw a line something like this for now so we have um, something like this So we have something like that and this point and that point should be horizontal to each other and the dimensions are right here from the top to from the top here is 0.13 from the bottom from the bottom right here which is either the origin point or at this face it doesn't anyone will do to so here is point 0 0.05 and that is fully defined and so and from this from this edge to this edge is uh, 0 0.03 which is right here and the only thing we need to do now is um, so I'll just um, go flip this back and just make sure this line are coincident with this line so that's all you need to do because I'm pretty sure that's where those or oh, another thing you can do is you can click this line and click this edge and make sure they are collinear to each other this line and this edge um, no this needs to be over here so not so I did it wrong over there delete and this needs to be right here and this needs to be right here so this line needs to be collinear with so that is pretty much in the gap and um, from the top it doesn't give you that dimension too but if you look over here you can see this hidden line which is that length of that cord is flush to this and the, the, the radius is 0 .03, 0 0.03 so which lets me know that this dimension is also 0 .03, 0 0.03 so I have all those stuff 
example linear so I can flip it back again and I just make sure this point and this point is horizontal this point and that point is horizontal this and this point is horizontal and this and that is horizontal and my sketch is fully defined so what I was explaining I hope I'm explaining it clear that this little piece this little cut is the space between this gap that's where that little cut is so once my sketch is fully defined all I need to do is feature extrude cut and it is 0.22 so I'm just going to 0.22 to the back and click OK and the part is done all we need to do now is add our fillet which is 0 0.03 so fillet um, 0 0.03 and I'm gonna add it to this edge that edge this one this edge this edge and this edge so it's like six places so we have six fillets and click OK and there you go and that, that's the part just to verify so if I measure I'm going under my evaluate measure from this face to this face it should be 0 0.08 and as you can see it is 0 0.08 and that is this part and is a is I like it it's pretty it's pretty good anyway thank you and please feel free to send me any question if you have any question and another way you can mod it like I said is you can make half of it and revolve it and not revolve but uh, mirror it over anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye